Today's Best Country Froggy 101. It's Halloween, and it's the final tale of terror. We have my father on the line. He's been telling us stories about the haunted chain, the hearse, the haunted fish tank that talked. And now today, he wraps up with his grand finale, The Wolfman. Yes, and this is another one with me and my best friend, Fuzzy. And it takes place in the Jersey Pines, the home of the Jersey Devil. Now, we weren't afraid in there because we used to hunt in the Pine Barrens all the time. So we were in and around these woods many, many times. But on this occasion, I was looking to build a house and I was looking to buy a piece of property. So I saw an ad in the paper for a property for sale. So I called this number and all that said, building lot. I called the number. Guy answers, gives me directions, and I know it's down in the Pine Barrens, kind of have the idea where it is. So I asked Fuzz, I said, hey, Fuzz, you want to go for a ride and look at a piece of property? He says, fine. So it's good, you know, late in the afternoon. We drive down there, we turn off. Now, this is not a road. It's a little kind of dirt path. One of these little one lane in the woods with two fire tracks. We make a right, we go in, in a little ways, and we have to make a left like the directions told us. We drive down a little bit, we see nothing in there. I said, but there's no building lot here. I don't know what this is. I said, but it's a nice day, let's take a walk. Maybe we'll find a place that we can go hunt. So I pulled the truck on the side of the road. We get out and we start walking. And it's, re- you know, it's getting towards evening. It's a nice night. We're walking, I guess, about 20 minutes. All of a sudden, we start hearing dogs in the background barking and howling. Not one, but there were many dogs. And they're not staying still. It sounds like they're chasing something because they're running. We hear them going up, you know, further ahead of us, circling around in the right. We walk a little while. Then we stop. It sounds like they're starting to get closer. We turn and look at each other. At the same time, we said, wild dogs. Now, there had been reports on the newspaper back in the Pine Barrens that there were packs of of wild dogs getting together, attacking farms and animals and all that. So we were concerned. We each grabbed a big stick, turned around, and now we walked briskly back down the road to the truck. Got in the truck, we said, great, everything's fine. Now my truck is pointing down the road again, where we just came from. So I've got to go up a little ways to find a place to turn around. As we're driving, if you've ever driven down a small road with weeds and and brush on the sides, after you pass it, the brush from the the wind from the truck kind of open up behind you and then close as you go by. This was happening in front of the truck. As I'm driving, the brush and the weeds on the side of the road are opening up. As my truck gets there, they close back up. This is weird. So I said to Fuzz, wow, this is not right. This is eerie. Let's turn around as quick as we can to get out. So I go to make a turn naturally. There's a tree. My front pulls up against the tree. I go to back. There's a tree behind me. So I'm kind a block between these two trees. But anyway, I'm going back and forth, back and forth. I get out. Now we're going back down the road. Now remember, we walked down the road, we walked back, and I drove down. Now as we're coming back, we see this man coming out of, down on the right-hand side. It was kind of low, looked like a swampy area. It starts coming out to the side of the road. The fuzzy says, Mike, slow down. We felt, let me warn this guy that we heard wild dogs. I said, yeah, that's a good idea. We heard him. Now, as we got closer and he hit the side of the road, this guy had these two huge black dogs. I think they were Great Danes, but they were all black. No big deal. I'm slowing down. Fuzzy's rolling down the window. All of a sudden, he screams and yells, get out of here. Get out of here. He's got yellow eyes. He's got yellow eyes. This guy was face was covered with hair and had completely yellow eyes. 
So I start speeding up to get away from him. He steps out in the street, in the in the path with the dogs, and all of a sudden I hear a big bang, and glass covers the hood of my truck. And I'm saying, oh my God, the guy shot at us. No gun. I look at my rear window, that's in place, Buzzy's window's in place, my, the windshield is in place, so where did this glass come from? And Fuzzy's hollering, your window, your window. I look, my window's not broke. I have a side view mirror, and the glass from the side mirror exploded and flew out in front of me in the truck. This is physically impossible. And this guy is just standing there staring at us. It scared us to death. And how that glass got there, I don't know. We didn't see a gunshot. We pull out. We get into the road. We get down into civilization. There's no mark on my mirror. There's nothing. The glass just exploded out there. And this guy was scared. Now, Fuzzy thinks it was the wolf man. I think it was the devil. But he swung closer to me, and them eyes did look like wolf eyes. So it was scary. Did anybody ever else say they've ever seen this creature? Nope. We've never heard anything else. But I got to tell you, we never went back into the woods hunting again. I don't blame <laughs> I don't blame you. them would. No, no. He's out there. And you better warn your little trick-or-treaters tonight. He's still out there, and he is real.